kids! Welcome to Summer Reading Club's Mermaid and Sea Tales program. Sometimes I like to just think about the ocean and I think about all of the creatures that live under the water and what they might be doing. So especially at night when I'm trying to go to bed, I think about sharks and I think about fish and whales and um, sea creatures, octopus and seahorses, and maybe even mermaids. And I love to imagine what they're doing and what it would be like to live in that really dark, mysterious world under the sea. I'd like today to be able to share with you a few of my favorite under the sea picture books. And then I also want to show you how I made this beautiful mermaid seashell necklace. But first, my favorite books. So I have a lot of books out here on the table that you can get at the library um, that have to do with mermaids and a couple that have to do with whales and octopus. But one of my all-time favorites is Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. And I'll tell you why I love this so much. This book has to do with fish fathers, with the daddies that help raise the eggs that turn into their babies. And uh, so the book talks about how the daddy fish um, and the daddy sea creatures take care of the eggs, and I love that. I also love these beautiful collage overlays. So these are plastic pages in the book that kind of um, camouflage or, or hide the sea creatures. And then you turn the page and you can see what they are. For example, this one is the um, trumpet fish. So I think it's just beautiful. I love the art in this story. And I love the story about um, daddies taking care of their babies. Um, another one that I love is Mighty Moby. And this is written by um, Barbara DaCosta. So this is a kind of based on and inspired by Moby Dick. Um, by Herman Melville. I love this story because of the art. Um, it's a mixed media collage. So a lot of the pictures will use um, photographs, string, um, paper, cut paper, and pastels. And as you can see, the pictures are vibrant and big and beautiful. And I just love that story and the art in Mighty Moby. The third one I want to share with you is David Weisner's Flotsam. Now, Flotsam is a word that describes things that float and are usually then washed up on the shore or on the beach. Now, this is a wordless book, so it means that there are no words. The pictures tell the whole story. And again, I love that you can use your imagination to try to figure out what's going on in the story. And I love the artwork, um, and it's beautiful, and it has wonderful creatures, and that are sometimes made of flotsam. Again, things that are washed up on the shore. So these are some great books that you might want to check out from the library, in addition to some wonderful books about mermaids. So would you like to make a beautiful seashell necklace? I'm going to um, show you how. What you'll need to do is just pick up a kid's craft bag here at the library. Um, starting today, you can pick these up. And let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, first you'll have your instructions, and that'll tell you how to make the necklace. And then, of course, I find some tissue paper, and inside is your very own seashell. Now, you'll want to be super careful because they are delicate, which means that they can break, but you'll find a seashell in there. You'll also find... Um, two markers, just like that, two of your very own markers, a piece
piece of ribbon and a Q-tip. So what you'll do is take your shell and put it down on a flat surface and then use your markers and start coloring. Um, so you can color however you want. You can use a couple different colors or just the one color. Um, you can use lines to color or you could even make dots and circle shapes all over, kind of however you want to do it and get that all done so that the shell is completely covered um, with color. Then you'll take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Now I'm not providing the alcohol in your bag so you'll have to get that from home but you'll also find a q-tip. So you'll just dip the q-tip in a little of the alcohol and rub that right over top of your shell and you'll find that the alcohol blends the colors and kind of blurs that magic marker so it begins to look like this. Okay, so it really spreads out that color and it makes it look almost automatically beautiful. And I, I love that. Really, really pretty. And then the third thing you'll do is just add your ribbon. The shells are pre-drilled with a little hole there and just insert your ribbon and just tie it. And you'll have your very own beautiful mermaid shell necklace. And that's going to be a lot of fun to make, very simple, but you will need um, the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol to do it. So that's all it takes. Make sure to grab one of your um, craft bags here. And uh, while you're at it, check out some books from the library about mermaids and other sea creatures. Thanks, you guys. Have fun with this craft, and we'll see you next time.